Namaste my fellow strikers, Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today we're going to be looking at the HD images and all the official descriptions for the Minato DLC, but before we get into it, be sure to Shinobi Strike that like button and subscribe for more content. Alright, let's get it. So, we got a new update on the Naruto official website, so the first thing that they show is the new Rain Village, so we're most likely getting that. It's going to come out when the season drops, uh, when Minato comes out. Okay, so first let's go over the rewards. So at rank 1, it unlocks the Ninja Master. Rank 2, it unlocks the Ninjutsu, Celestial, Air Slice, Type 0, and more of his goofy dames. Rank 3, you get the costume, M Minato Outfit Ginning version, and it's for both uh, genders. Rank 4, we get Ninjutsu, Flying Raijin, Guiding Thunder. Rank 5, we get the Secret Technique, Flying Raijin, Jiku, Shipu, Senko, Rena, Don, Zero, Shiki, or whatever, man. Some, one, another one of his crazy names. So then rank 6, we get a Shinobi Blue Scroll. Uh, rank 7, we get the Hair Kushina, Mission Ready. Okay. And then rank 8, we get the Ninja Tool, Flying Raijin Kunai. Ooh, that sounds like it could be dope because now we'll be, we might have a Flying Raijin that we can teleport to as a Ninja Tool. That would be crazy and game changing. All right, then rank nine, we get another Shinobi Boost Scroll. And then rank 10, we get the honorary title, Yellow Flash of the Leaf. Man, people have been wanting to call themselves something like that. That is dope. <laughs> All right, so for the first ninjutsu, it's called Celestial Air Slice Type Zero. So this says, a surprise attack that utilizes a flying ride in jutsu. The user throws a marked kunai at a target, and if it hits, they will unleash a combo in the area around their foe. So if you, if you see, like, the way the kunai, the flying ride is all spread out, it looks like that will be the area that the combo will be in so this is an area attack not just a single target like the flying ride in level two so yeah this looks dope it looks like it'll be great on especially objective based game modes uh, maybe just like for knocking people away from objectives and stuff probably won't do that much damage since he's a defense type but it still looks cool and it looks like it'll be easy to hit with also uh, and then the second ninjutsu, the one I'm most excited about, is called Flying Raijin Guiding Thunder. So this has a technique that utilizes transportation ninjutsu to create a barrier in the surrounding area. The barrier is formed around the user and it will nullify enemy flying tool attacks for a set period of time. Plus, allies within the barrier will have their defense and close range attack power boosted. Oh, uh, so that's a surprising boot, uh, buff that we get the close range attack power boosted. The defense boost makes sense. Um, so yeah, so this looks like it might be pretty dope because it's a it's a huge area that it covers, like big enough to fit around Gamma and uh, like with all, all the bosses and stuff like that. So that that looks like it's gonna be dope. Uh, it says flying tool attacks. I don't know what that means. Just the ninja tool stuff and not projectile ninjutsu. Uh, it wouldn't be all that great if it didn't nullify ninjutsu, but we'll see how it works. Uh, hopefully, it's not just ninja tools. Uh, and then his secret technique is called Flying Raijin, and then that long crazy name. Uh, so it's a combo that utilizes Shadow Clone Jutsu and Flying Raijin Jutsu in tandem. The user throws a marked kunai at a target, and if it hits, they will swift step to the foe's location and launch a Rasengan. So another, the the one millionth Rasengan in Shinobi Striker. <laughs> uh, so yeah, man, so that's all the new information we got about the Minato DLC, but this, we also have some big news about, like, just the pricing for the seasons, uh, because people have been wondering, like, now that we're only getting three DLC per season, it's like, what's going to be the price? So this also says coming soon. They never tell us an official release date, but the price for just Minato is 440 yen which is about three dollars and 33 cents and then but for the season pass it's going to be 1155 yen which is about eight dollars and 70 some cents so they'll probably make it like 899 which is cheaper than uh than like the season one cost when you when you add it all up uh so yeah this is this is actually going to be a good deal so if the season pass ends up being 899 it'll be like the same price as it was for a uh, season three four and five so which was a cheaper price than the first two seasons so yeah yeah, that's what's up i thought they were going to try to make it make a little bit more off of this but yeah they're they're still staying true to how it's been so that's what's up so now, now these these two seasons are a deal because we're getting two bonus jutsu for the price of like one one season pass uh so yeah this is this is actually a pretty good deal they're, they're hooking us up uh, not trying to escape us so that's what's up man yeah so it still says coming soon but now that we got the hd images the dlc should be coming out soon i'm not sure though because uh, I think it's just now becoming Hero Festival, and it would be weird for them 
to release it next Thursday after the maintenance and it's not Hero Festival anymore because usually they release the DLC during Hero Festival but um, hopefully we get it by next Thursday or as soon as it can be um, but yeah let me know what you guys think about all this man I'm hyped the season six and seven are looking pretty dope we're gonna find out I'll have a video for you guys later when they announce all the DLC that there's that we're gonna get and until then stay tuned man like up the video and subscribe for more content I'll see you guys in the next one everybody stay safe out there peace and love